of course forms the basis of our conversation tonight. Gerans Mutwal as well as Elid Mutahi will be here in studio experts in this field to further deliberate and discuss the expectations and what to anticipate especially this year after UNEA 6. Clean coffee production has dropped by 6% in the last year, despite advancements by the Office of the Deputy President to increase exportation of the preferred variety to choice destinations. This is according to the Coffee Directorate, who say that coffee auctions have equally dropped in value by $100 million within the same period after even concerted efforts to increase smallholder farmer involvement in the Nairobi Coffee Exchange. And as Hibak Said now reports, local consumption is now being highlighted as a new frontier in increasing the popularity and carving out a niche for Kenyan coffee, which ranks 17th globally in total world coffee production. Smallholder farmers control about 75% of the total acreage under coffee production. This contributes to around 70% of the national annual production of clean coffee beans. This translates to about 30,000 metric tons of the more than 48,000 metric tons of clean coffee produced in the last year. We just fell slightly. This year, 48,648 metric ton. That is a slight reduction of 6.1 uh, percent. Uh, this was attributed to adverse weather, which was which was uh, realized in the central region and eastern part because of the CBD and also the biannual cyclic nature of coffee in its production. A significant drop from the 51,853 metric ton produced in 2022. This drop in production is a stark contrast to the efforts that were put into coffee production, processing and sale of Kenyan coffee by the office of the deputy president, centering around smallholder farmers who were pulled into cooperatives to have a unified bargaining voice in the coffee markets. Contribute significantly to the continued progress of our coffee value chain. The government of Kenya recognizes the potential of its coffee sector and looks to leverage on its reforms, which is a strategic response to ensure the long-term viability of our coffee industry. By enhancing transparency, promoting sustainable practices, and fostering innovation, we aim to create an enabling environment for growth and prosperity. The number dip notwithstanding, pricing in the Nairobi Coffee Exchange has improved to be more competitive even with international markets such as the New York Coffee Exchange from $199 per 50 kilo bag in October of last year to $212 per 50 kilo bag in January this year. So as we gaze towards the horizon, our commitment remains unwavering in further modernizing and refining the coffee sector alongside, alongside invigorating other pivotal value chains and fortifying regulatory reforms. Four billion shillings has now been injected into the Coffee Cherry Advance Revolving Fund, keeping the advance payment for farmers at 20 shillings to 80 shillings per kilo. With only a 5% local consumption rate, now Kenya is looking towards Colombia as a peer reviewer with their consumption at 40% and the government is trying to organize smallholder farmers into cooperatives to ensure that the farmer is the greatest beneficiaries when coffee is being sold. Hibak Said for TV 47.